I thought I would start with the trunk, because you know, as Americans, we like to fit bodies in, or you know, any Costco trips. Second most important thing for Americans when it comes to their car is performance. And this baby has 282 horsepower, putting out 116 miles per hour, and it's got a five-speed transmission. You go room, room. Another miraculously beautiful thing about this car, it's these lovely blue leather seats that match my lovely blue leather shirt. It's not leather though, it's just blue. See, for its time, this car was high in tech. It had everything, everything I tell you, especially the sunroof. One of the most signature looks about this car is not just its big windows, its flashy look and aggressive performance on the field. It is known for this right here. This is called the shark nose. It's long extended hood as well as the bumpers, as you can see here. If you look at it from a side profile, it looks very long. And it's just a coupe, two doors. And then it's really not comfortable to sit in the back. I don't know about you guys, but this right here does not look comfortable to me. Can I tell you this car was high in tech? It was high in tech for that time. This right here is the control panel for the seats. These are fully powered electric seats. Modern day cars is a no brainer, but in 1985, this was top of the line. Now the main thing about this car, the fact that it is a BMW, is its performance behind the steering wheel. Everything in this car is made for the driver. This car also won a bunch of races back in its day. It was actually a track car in its time. It was on the track winning races before it came into the luxury market for modern consumer cars. My camera ran out of battery, so let me give you guys some additional information. This car was produced from 1979 to 1989. This was the first generation of the 6 Series and eventually was taken out by the E9 Coupe. This car was available in all sorts of different size motors, especially since it had the Euro version as well as the American version. And then we also had the M6 series performance models as well as the 635 CSI, which is what I have, which was the most standard consumer model. Huge price difference as well as huge performance difference. Um, we also came out with a bunch of different transmissions from four speed manual transmission, to five speed transmission, which is what I have, as well as a three speed and a four speed automatic transmission that came out later, which again for its time was advanced. Overall, the car is beautifully built, beautifully designed. It is a incredible machine to drive and enjoy. It turns heads, it brings smiles, and it is my first BMW, and I am glad to own it and enjoy it and eventually pass it on to someone else that can enjoy it.